No baby. No baby. You a bitch. All right, what's going on, Guap Chasers? I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a detailed tutorial on how you can boost your FPS in multiplayer, Warzone, whatever, you, which one you play. Uh, I'm also gonna give you guys the links and stuff on what I installed on my uh, laptop in order to get to where I am now versus where I was then. So as you saw in the beginning of the, uh, of the video, I gave you guys two clips of when I first got the laptop until now. So I did a little bit of upgrades. I'm gonna explain to y'all y'all what I uh installed on it. So basically I installed two um eight gigabyte hard drives. Not hard drives, but uh RAM sticks which equals 16. And I installed a one terabyte hard drive. Um I used to have a 256 gigabyte uh SSD, but that was nothing compared to this. So those are the first two things that I installed. The links will be in the description. And now we're just gonna go to the steps on what you guys can do um, from the desktop in order to boost it. So first things first, you wanna go over to uh, this PC, right click, manage, and make sure your drivers are updated. As you can see, I'll pick the thing. Well, uh, as you can see, I got two drivers. So basically, like I said, I'm on my laptop. So if I was using my laptop uh, screen, I would have to update this one, but I check both of them just in case but I got a, a display port so I'm using the NVIDIA 1650 so make sure you update both of these that's the first step right there after you did that just go ahead and exit that out and then you want to find where you got your war zone saved at the uh, game saved so once you know where the war zone is saved go over to it go to battle.net and go to the folder go over to the launcher right click go to properties compatibility go to change high dpi settings click this and make sure it says application so make this make sure this is checked and application is checked press ok press ok again but of course you have to press uh, apply but i already got it applied so i don't have to do it again so that's step two now you know keep going um, what you want to want to do now is go over to settings and then you want to go over to like the notifications so click uh, system notifications make sure everything is off make sure this is off all notifications are off then you want to go over to storage Make sure this is off also and then privacy let's type it in make sure all of this is off and then background apps make sure that is off also now you're gonna go over to uh the game mode So gaming, make sure the Xbox game bar is off. Then go over here, make sure game mode is on. And after that, go over to graphic settings. Make sure these two are on. I put these two in because I don't know, for some reason it just it boosts my FPS like way up. If you see my videos, they go, over. usually my, when I first changed it, it was like, going from 80 to 100 but now it goes like from 100 all the way almost to 100 and like 20 or something like that and i'm playing on 144 hertz monitor so that's pretty a bit a big difference so i got these two uh selected so just go ahead and click browse find these two uh put them in and then make sure you got high performance on, on both of them so that's my video card and i got high performance on this also so both of them are high performance you might think that uh, you don't know how to do this you might just have to load one of them but to me this will work for me so do what works for you and yeah that's basically it so now you're gonna keep going go over to the search bar right here and type in run 
um, make sure you type in these three things. You're gonna get rid of all the temp files that's on it. So type in TMP. As you can see, these are only the, the all the only temp files that I got. So I'm just uh, Control A, um, click all of them, delete. And you can't delete that because it's obviously something that's running in the background now. So make sure you do that. Exit out of that. You gonna go over here again. Type in run again and type in this it's gonna open up like this control a you're gonna delete all of this also do this for all current items continue and as you can see everything is gone we're gonna do it one more time run prefetch continue and basically it's nothing up in here so uh yeah that's basically it so you can go over here and empty out this folder make sure everything's gone all right so that's that now this you're gonna have to download this is gonna be in the description below so make sure you download this run it and gonna load up make sure uh this is on high performance you can i guess you could do ultimate but i just put high um high performance make sure this is at 100 100 100 click apply change is successfully applied uh minimize this um type in power options right here lose power plan I got it on high performance, change power plan, go to change advanced power settings. Make sure this is at zero. So go over to hard disk, this, put this at zero. So put both of these at zero on battery, zero, plugged in zero. Now you wanna go to wireless adaptive settings, power mode savings, maximum performance on both. And that's basically it for this. So once you did that, just go ahead and exit this out and turn off display never 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 yeah. i mean you can but me i just put never so that's basically it for that and last but not least you're gonna want to download this right here so that's gonna be in the description also below track here You want to run it and then press maximum and make sure this is running in the background also so minimize that and keep that running while you're playing uh call of duty so that's basically it for the things you got to do on the desktop i showed you guys the nvidia settings in my last video so we're not going to really too much go over that i could show you again i'm gonna just show you one more time Settings. so these are the settings for nvidia just going to copy this down if you want to but i've really been this, this really i mean too much change this since the last video so but these are the settings for this so uh, y'all go ahead and copy this down make your changes i'm gonna go through it one more time All right, so that's that. Now we're going to um, run Warzone. I'm going to show you the settings that I use in uh, in game. So I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so now that we're in game, I'm going to take y'all over to the graphics settings and show y'all what settings you can use to get a good uh, FPS. As you can see, it's in the red right now, and that's because I'm recording. So if I stop recording this and uh, just have it just playing, it will not be in the red. Well, the war zone will be in the red, but it really don't matter because I won't be recording while playing, so it still runs smooth. So basically, it's like that right now because I'm recording. So don't mind that. But these are the settings that I use. So uh, four screen borderless. Uh, you see my monitor right there. My graphics, uh, my display adapter, 1650 NVIDIA. I got this at 100. 
I would recommend this because if not, you will not, it would be blurry. Like, you will not be able to see shit, basically. So just go ahead and copy out uh, all of these. I'm not going to sit here and explain it. Like I said in the last video, like, I know what the fuck all this is. I know what some of it is, but y'all didn't want to, y'all didn't just come here to hear me talk about this shit. So just go ahead and copy these settings, and I guarantee you, if you did it right, if you got a good enough uh, hard drive and uh, RAM, your shit would be perfect. So go ahead and copy these settings right here. And keep on going down so y'all can get uh, a full understanding. Some people play with this and enabled, just enabled, but I play with it and maybe plus boost. I never even really, really tried just enabled, but yeah, do what works for you. So these are my uh, details and textures right here. So go ahead and just copy this. And that's basically the setting. So if you follow those steps and download it, what I told you to download, I guarantee you your FPS will be boosted. Like for real. Like I said, if you saw in the beginning when I first got the laptop, and uh like I did the upgrades like one by one, and I didn't really do too much really. I just added uh two RAM sticks, 16 gigabyte, uh two eight gigabyte. Uh, RAM sticks and the one terabyte hard drive. So I think the RAM sticks was like 40 and the hard drive is like 50. So those two upgrades and I got to this right here, I mean, you can't beat it. So do what's best for you. And also, I don't put my games on the uh, hard drive on the laptop. I have an external hard drive. So those all my games go. So uh, that's basically it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn that post notification bell icon so you know when I upload any new videos to the channel. And I'll see y'all in the next motherfucking uh, <laughs> Rage gameplay. Y'all like that type of shit, huh? But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.